Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawe, joined by the one, the only, the Steph, the Sabra. What up, bra? What up? We're looking at Honest Trailers, Miss Marvel. So I enjoyed this show. Did you enjoy this show? Loved. All right. I love this show. L O V E D. This is from Screen Junkies. Thank you, Screen Junkies, for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciate it. Y'all, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. While you're subscribing and upvoting, subscribe to Screen Junkies. There's a link in the description below. Click on that link of the original and upvote. Subscribe to them from there. Hello, John. John, you know John? John Bailey? Yeah. Okay. I've met him once or twice. Great guy. Great guy. Yeah. This episode is presented by IKEA. Where do I say Miss Marvel on his trailer, please? That's a funny comment. Where do I make a suggestion? A hero can come from anywhere. Manhattan. Brooklyn. Even <laughs> other parts of New York City. <laughs> Where are you from? Queens. But now, the MCU asks you to imagine the impossible. Could anything good come from Jersey? No. Yeah, buddy. Time to GT Triple L. Jim Tan, lay my life on the line for you, bunnies. Let me slam a hoagie and take a shadoobie first, though. Miss Marvel. Oh, my. Iman Vellani stars as Kamala Khan, the first Pakistani-American in the MCU to not play an Indian guy. Hi. <laughs> When a magic bracelet unlocks <laughs> your inner Mario Maker. That was a great call out because it's all too often that you have Pakistanis playing Indians for some reason. By the same token, you'll have Indians playing Pakistanis, but it's still odd. It's like, why not just have Indians play Indians, Pakistanis play? And most yeah. people don't know the difference, unfortunately, in America. Like they do, but it's like, whatever. It's like Asian, right? Southeast, like. To be fair, a lot of Asians can't tell the difference. For Chinese persons watching it, a lot of Chinese people wouldn't know if it was a Japanese or a Chinese or whatever, unless they spoke. You yeah. Know, just looking, they wouldn't know All oftentimes. The time. And like in the show Heroes, one of the main characters who was playing Japanese was Korean, but I thought he was Japanese. And he yeah. spoke fluent, so you never know. But for Indians and Pakistanis, like I get the passion behind that. You know, it's like, come on. You know? Yeah, there's there's a lot of beef in the streets. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get it right. Yeah. Woohoo! She'll join the MCU's next wave of cool female heroes who have to carry the heavy burden of standing for Captain Marvel. I know, uh, some of you think, well, she abandoned the people of Earth. But like, look, it's, it's not true. Can a woman just live? Oh, so that's where her stretching powers went. Carol Danvers went away. She'd punch a hole in space and time and she'd help them now. Yeah, and then she'd blow up your brother's wedding in a Red Sox jersey. Kamala must learn to come out of her shell at school and learn to be proud of who she is, which she'll accomplish after one episode. <laughs> What's that? Then spend the rest of the time running from damage control. The department Disney activates when Shuri posts an anti-vax video. Uh, I mean the group responsible for controlling all the damage that they themselves create. You already blew up my apartment. <laughs> They're all locked in a battle against the clandestines, exiles who want to return to their world, even though it's made of glass shards. It turns what? you into a spooky skeleton and gives your only son a cosmic tummy ache. <laughs> Not a great plan. But Kamala won't face another poorly developed Marvel villain alone. She's got three helpers spread evenly across the kind geek to questionable bad boy spectrum. Bruno, a swagless Peter Parker. Can't really train but I love him. He, he actually auditioned for oh. Peter Parker. We don't hook up with Bruno, no, 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 <laughs> no. The hunky movie geek Comrade. Do you like watch Bollywood movies? Obviously. And the other hunky movie geek, Kareem. Come with me if you want to live. What? Yeah, I've always wanted to say that. Two hunky movie geeks in one show? Sure. And of course, back at home is Kamala's doting mother, who starts out not trusting her at all. No, I don't trust you. But after her daughter keeps disappearing in foreign countries for hours at a time, <laughs> totally learns her lesson. We <laughs> trust her, right? Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So enjoy a show Disney clearly didn't believe in, or they wouldn't have buried the first three episodes under Obi-Wan. Which is a shame, because the directors made it look cool. It's an American show that's not full of evil Muslims for a change. <laughs> and oh, by the way, Facts. it officially brings mutants into the MCU. There's something different in your genes, like a mutation. 
Come for the origins of X-Men. Stay for the origins of Pakistan. Did you feel like they deliberately did it and buried it under Obi-Wan? Like, it was odd to me that they had it released at the same time, but I'm like, the way it was phrased here was like they did this on purpose because they were, I guess they were afraid it wasn't going to perform well. I'm confused. At first, I thought that that could have been the case because they haven't overlapped a show before with Star okay. Wars and um, Marvel, but yeah. I don't know. That'd be hard to believe because I feel like they were really ex excited about having like a Pakistani star and movie and show, and it was really good. Like, arguably, the first three episodes to some people were better than the Obi Wan episodes. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Miss Marvel episode one was one of my favorite episodes from just M the MCU shows in general. I thought the first episode was so strong. I certainly felt more positive about that than I did about any of the Obi Wan episodes. I still don't understand what the thinking behind that was. Like, why not just separate it, it by either. a day? Like, it must be the time of other shows coming, but it didn't. I was like, why don't you do one of these a Friday release? It yeah. didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. The Indian struggle for independence. I love that. Starring episode. the fantastic Noor, Marty McShy. Mm -hmm. Don't tell mom the superpower spread. Yeah, I've got a girlfriend. You, you know that reference? Mm -mm. The super. Uh, I think it's Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Oh. Yeah, I think that's what it was. She's another dimension, though. You would know her. Kareem Abdul Dagar. Another MCU Nakia? How we run out of character names already. Mad about Yusuf. Deaver and Cleary? Damage control? Oh, I get it. The bad guys are DC. Quentin Tarantino. Somebody stole my shoes. That joke. Uh oh my god. Oh my god. I was like, what? Tarantino? And then the fuck? fetish thing. Yeah. Again. We are trying to drop the name okay. Nightlight. It's a bad name. It just sounds like it's for five-year-olds. Red yeah. Daggers. What are you in a Pakistani boy band? And when you know you're really in trouble. Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan, you're not going anywhere. I know this is the worst possible time to ask, but. Kamala Khan. Next of Jin. Next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after watching this in RRR last month, I think we can all agree on one thing. Nobody on Earth likes the British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, facts. Wow. Facts. Oh, man. I'm going to clip that, yeah. John Bailey's voice, and I'm going to just have that on my phone ready to play for Achara every time she annoys me. Oh, Nobody likes the British. I, I was like, what are they going to do? Because I feel like Miss Marvel was a genuinely great show, and I loved it, and it was surprising because everyone was like, it's really adorable. And I was like, I don't really want an adorable show. And then I watched it and said, this is adorable and I want it. Yeah. I want more of it. Yeah, I think they pointed out good stuff from it that they didn't tear it apart as the show, but kind of the features that Marvel and Disney kind of threw into yeah. it. But I enjoyed it. I feel like uh, Honest Trailers has been going in hard on Marvel stuff for some reason. I feel like they just despise Marvel now. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember what they said about Shang-Chi and Eternals. Well, Eternals, I can totally like understand them ripping into Eternals. I can't remember what they said about Shang-Chi, but there have been many instances lately where I'm like, like, whoa, that is throwing shade hard. That is a burn. I'm always hoping that it's all in good fun. And it's not like anything deeper than that. It's just like, sometimes it seems like they go even harder on Marvel than they do anybody else, but I could be wrong. It could be though, also when you're watching something for the flaws, it's just different. You know, it's more True. jokey. If I was watching Marvel that seriously, yeah. you probably would be like, okay, again, we're gonna do this, yeah. okay. I guess it's all for jokes, it's all for ha-has. I like the, the ending though with the Brits. It's truly yeah. funny, especially because we've been fine, like doing videos where we're watching some of the history of India and Pakistan. Yeah. And you're like, oh God, the Brits basically caused this, essentially the whole issue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that. Do subscribe, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote the sucker up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Uh, follow Steph Sabra on the social media as well, please. That'd be a, a huge, huge plus for Steph Sabra and me, because then she'll come back here for more followers. <laughs> That's all I come back for the show for. That's <laughs> all I want. Just want attention. <laughs> I love it. Social media, <laughs> yes. Exactly. I'm Jabby Koei. This is Steph Sabra. Peace out.